Surprise! <laughs> Nagulot ba kayo guys sa aking face? Huh? <laughs> So, yun. Bakit pa ganito yung pamumukha natin ngayon, guys? <laughs> so, do you have any clue? Bakit ganito? We, bakit we are having a very, very exposed or very, very bare face right now? Obviously, alam nyo na. Kasi sa title, di ba? Lalagay ko for sure sa title nito. So, definitely, alam nyo na kung bakit ganito yung face natin today. So today I will be doing a review or a first impression or a test dito sa today on this foundation from Everbelena. It's the Everbelena All Day Liquid Foundation. So obviously I am so behind on this bandwagon guys kasi medyo matagal na to lumabas sa market and yeah yun nga, medyo matagal na siya lumabas sa market but dito sa Cebu, hindi, ma hindi pa siya masyadong matagal uh, yung iba kasi yung, siguro, uh, kasi paulit-ulit akong pabalik-balik doon sa SM or sa ibang store na hindi pa talaga, nung time na nag-haul ako, yun pala yun palang talag, yun pala <laughs> talaga yung time down na nagkaroon sila nito, so we are kinda slow here in Cebu so sana ever Belena mag-launch naman kayo <laughs> the same time Diyan sa ano, sa Manila kasi ano, meron din naman kami dito. Marami kami dito sa sa Cebu din that are excited to try your product. So hopefully, pag may mga bagong launch ever Belena sana ano, kun uh, hindi masyadong malayo yung time difference ng pagla-launch nila sa Manila at saka dito sa Cebu kasi mahirap pag sa Manila pa siya kunin. Sometimes ayoko ng bumili sa Shopee kasi mahirap. Uh, I have a couple of experiences from Shopee. Pero pag wala na talaga akong choice, ano, yan, napapabili ako sa Shopee. So yun nga, like I said, I will be testing this one today. I am so excited, guys, kasi I've been seeing um, a lot of hype on this foundation. And yeah, I am excited myself to try this one. Kasi nga, ano, mura lang to. Aside from that, mura lang. Tapos, Mura, if this will work, diba? It's a big, big, big plus pag nag-work to ka. Kasi, it's only, tingnan nyo naman yung price, 195 pesos only for a 35 grams na product. So, kayang-kaya sa budget natin. So, first, I'm going to read yung claims ng Everbelena or kung ano yung napasulat dito sa back ng ng packaging. Ang liliit nila, guys. Hopefully, mabasa ko sila. <laughs> So yon, here we go. So this is the Everbelena All Day Liquid Foundation and get skin that looks flawless at every angle. Wow. <laughs> every angle daw with EB All Day Liquid Foundation. This is the before the skin out skin tone and conceals blemishes. What the hydration without the greasy feel. Oh yan, gusto ko talaga yung ano guys, no greasy feel especially dito sa Philippines, 'di ba? I don't know about you all but for sure marami yung makaka-relate na it is so hot especially yung months na ito yung April, uh, starting March April May June medyo ano pa yan uh, mainit talaga dito sa Pilipinas na magsa-start na yung rainy season but hindi now is already June but it is still blazing hot and very humid as well so we really need a product na magla-last sa ating skin ayoko talaga yung feeling na ano na sticky, tapos nagmi-melt during this time of the year. So, just a little background on my skin. I have a very, very oily skin, guys, of anywhere. <laughs> oily siya, hindi lang dito sa, sa T-zone area. Anywhere. And then, I also have a very sensitive skin. I get hives. I get, um, I am also... Um, acne prone so if whenever a product um, does not fit me well definitely it will give me um, hives if not hives acne breakout blackheads yun kasi I am also I am also I have also a congested skin so whenever the product is too thick or nagkaklag siya ng pores ayan 
nagsishow agad siya, nagpo-form agad siya ng whiteheads, blackheads, and etc. So, ganun ka-problematic yung aking skin. So, by the way, the shade that I got is porcelain. Ayan. Tapos, ito yung ano niya. So, I don't know. Porcelain yata yung pinaka-lightest shade kasi sabi ko, I asked uh, the sales girl there na, Miss, can you give me yung pinaka-lightest? Kasi usually, I am the lightest foundation color <laughs> uh, yeah so now let's get started that talaga so i already um prep my face i already um applied my toner my favorite toner of course and i also applied uh what's that called moisturizer um i did not apply any primer since um i don't do primer or i don't apply primer on my face i don't know maybe um it's just me it's just my skin type lang talaga na whenever kasi na try ko before yung hype days ng primer yung bago bago pa lang yung primer na um, whenever I apply primer on my face um, it for me lang ha uh, it looks too heavy looking yung ano kiki kiki looking ayan medyo heavy siya sa akin so that's why I stopped using that when I went back to just using moisturizer so today yun yung gagawin ko a foundation sets or and looks better if I'm just only using moisturizer but if you really wanted to use primer kasi yun, na, yun yung hiyang sa inyo then you could definitely do that so now I uh, will be bringing you very close <laughs> okay yung magulat guys oh, so yan yeah. mga ganyan ka close lang yata yan close na pa I'll just move closer ayan Okay na ba yan guys? Can you see me better in this angle? Ayan. Can you see all my... <laughs> Hindi ba kayo nagulat or what? So, this is not a glam look pa kasi hindi pa tayo magaglam kasi nga ititest pa natin si Everbelena. So, on this side of my face, I will be using um, what? A brush and this side yung sponge. So, para matest na So, I already have my mirror here with me. So, dito brush, tapos dito a sponge sa left side. So, I will be using first my, this one, yung fave ko na, na brush for foundation. And maybe ito din, yung, yung dalawa. Tapos ito, yung a sponge natin. So, yan. Excited na ba kayo? Oh my god. I am so excited. So, ay! <laughs> Ganyan pala. <laughs> Hindi pala siya, ano, itchy twist. So, I'm just going to put it on the back. Oh, ang tagal naman mag out, out. Ayan. So, ito yung ano niya, guys. Consistency. It's a thick foundation. Yeah. Yeah, it's really thick. Tingnan niya, oh. Hindi siya nagmumove. <laughs> Ayan. Yeah. Hindi talaga siya nagmumove. Um, if I'm going to compare this so other foundation ko yung mga favorite kan foundation ko definitely this is a very thick one kasi yung mga fave ko na foundation ano lang sila yung parang too big lang talaga pag shake oh hindi ko siya na shake i forgot shake muna natin <laughs> so eto parang ewan ko ilang pump to parang one and a half pump so dito di ba brush ating right side left yung ano so i'm gonna start now so, ayan. Sana magmatch to sa aking skin and somebody is looking or watching at me. Ayan. I don't know if you could see my face, guys, but oh, meron akong pimple dito. Pero natang, natanggal na yung ano, yung nana. Tapos dito, konti lang naman sila. Tapos yung unevenness na. So, ayan. Oh. It feels cold. Wala. Masyado bang white sa aking pagmuka? I don't know. So, ayan yung... Uh, oh my God! It's not... It's not blending. Oh gosh! Oh! You need to hurry! Kasi ano na, nagda-dry na siya guys. Oh gosh. Okay. So far, yung smell okay lang naman. But, um... Using this brush, ang hirap niya i-blend. I am struggling. I don't know if you can see, pero tingnan niyo, oh. Nagiging, oh no, no. It's my first time to try something like this na, ayan. Tapos pag ginaganyan, oh my God. Oh my goodness. 
very shoes. I don't like. Maybe let's try the other brush, cause um, hindi maganda yung brush niya. Bakit nahihirapan ako magblend? As in, nahihirapan talaga ako magblend sa kanya. So, I always use that brush to blend my foundation. And then, foundation din ang aking mga kayo. So, this is how it looks like. Uh, can you see the difference? Pero, um, I could still see my uneven skin. What? And then, oh my god. I don't know. <laughs> Wala ako masabi, guys, kasi it looks weird here sa mirror. Ayan o. Oh. Um, first impression. Oh, Maui is so maingay. First impression, I did not like the way this. Tapos ang 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 bilis niyang mag ano mag set. Ayan so i-try naman natin ano I'm gonna build here kasi hindi talaga na cover yung part here dito sa akin face. So ayan yung sa brush. So for now, ito muna i-try muna natin sa ano yung sa, sa sponge. So guys, let's do the sponge. So ayan yung lumabas one pump and then I'm trying to put another pero ayaw na niyang lumabas oh pangit ng pump hello ayaw mo na <laughs> ayaw na niya sa akin kasi nung first na ano ko tinay siya hindi ko siya masyadong hindi ka din nagalit hindi <laughs> din kita gusto Guys, ayaw na talaga. Ayaw na talaga. Ayaw na niya talaga. Ano ba? This video is going to be a fail. So, ayan. Itatry na natin ni a sponge. So, I'm just going to um, dot, dot, dot. Wala akong salamin. Mahirap to. Wala akong table. Oh my God. Diyan na muna. Ang dami. Tapos, i-blend natin kas mabilisan kasi sa brush, ano kasi siya eh. Um... Hindi siya lang blend agad. Oh. I like it better with the sponge. Kasi medyo okay siya sa sponge. Compare sa brush. Yeah, much better. <coughs> Catch your throat. Uh, much better siya sa sponge. I could say. Ayan, kasi nag-blend. Kasi, I find na ano, Madali siyang mag ano, mag dry up etong ano na to, ng foundation na to. Madali siyang mag dry so you need to work it fast para mahabol mo talaga kasi pag hindi mo siya ma blend agad. <laughs> For sure. Unblended ka na. <laughs> para <magisip. laughs> So yan. Oh by the way, Sashi is watching me doing this one and she laughed. <laughs> So, ayan. Bakit dahil? What is your, ano? So, ayan, guys. Um, preferably, um, mas gusto ko siya using, uh, applied with a sponge. Kasi, ayan, oh. I don't know if you can see. Pero, mas hindi ako nahirapan ni sponge. And then, it gives coverage din naman. Hindi naman yung, yung sponge ko, hindi naman, uh, nag, ano. Anong tawag nyo? Bakit, ano, nag, nag thin ng product or ng foundation. Ayan. So, so far, if I'm going to compare, ayan, may marami pang natira dito. If I'm going to compare the two, yung sponge tsaka yung brush, definitely, mas gusto ko si sponge na side kasi, if you can see, mas maganda siya. Tapos, ano, hindi ako nahirapang mag-blend compare sa brush. Grabe si brush. Nag-dry tapos, parang ano. Tapos, yung smell pala, guys, okay lang yung smell sa akin niya. Yeah. Unlike with yung ano, sun sun, tapos yung ibang mga uh, mumurahin na foundation, iba kasi weird yung mga scent nila. Masyadong ano, masyadong sweet and masyadong mabango. Tapos this one okay lang. Tapos hindi din siya paint na ano. Yung parang paint na smell, hindi din ganun para sa akin. So, 
okay lang. So, I still need more coverage here on this area here. So, I'm just gonna build that. Kasi hindi ako naging happy ni, ni brush. Hopefully, maganda siya. Hindi siya mag-take dito na area na to. Kasi I build it up dito sa my cheeks. Kasi I need more. Kasi parang hindi siya nagka-cover masyado. So, definitely yung finish niya hindi matte. Ayan. I don't see it na na matte finish. Uh, yeah, medyo sticky. Pero weird, hindi siya masyadong matte. Pero nag-dry siya agad. Yeah, it is weird. And, um, is it setting already? Mm, hindi pa siya nagsiset. So, the finish is more of like, um, medyo may shine kasi. Akong nakikita, I don't know if you can see. Pero may shine definitely akong nakikita. So, I'm just going to run this down up to my neck para. Pero okay naman yung shade match ko. Ayan, okay naman. Hindi, hindi naman ako masyadong nag-apply dito sa neck. But still, nag-match sila. So, match shading is on point. Ayan. So, this is how it looks like. Oh my god, I look like an alien. My face is so <laughs> flat. So, ayan guys, definitely I recommend using a sponge for me, for me at least, on applying the foundation. So, ayan yung face natin guys, sa sponge na side and then sa brush na side. Although, I blended this kasi hindi ko talaga kaya si, ano, si brush na side. So, this is how my face looks like and yeah, so I will be back to do, um, I'm just going to um, finish the rest of my face and I will be back. So friends, I'm back and I am finally done with the rest of my makeup kasi ano, medyo natagalan ako guys kasi I did uh, ano pa yung another video for for today as well. I'm gonna check kasi medyo uh, it took mga ilang minutes din bago ako nakasit down again dito. So ito yung face ko. I'm gonna check sa mirror kung ano. Um, so Oh my god, right now after mga 20 minutes yata or so, parang ano na. Definitely my my skin looks na meron talagang ano, meron talagang foundation tapos it is like um it's not healthy looking for me for my preference hindi ko siya masyadong ano. Although okay naman yung match ng skin color ko pero I could see my pores guys dito, malaki. Ayan oh. Although, hindi naman ganyan talaga kalaking kalaki, but I could definitely see my pores and hindi siya maganda dito sa aking dito na area. Kasi pawisin ako dito, guys. Ano, ewan ko. I don't know if you watch my videos, di ba? Yung ano, I have, I got a mustache na video. Ayun, kasi nga, ano, lagi ako parang may mustache or bigote. Kasi nga, ano, nagpapawis talaga ako dito sa mouth area. So, yun yung problem ko pag nagka-foundation. So, ngayon, ganyan yung nangyayari ngayon. <laughs> After 20 minutes applying the foundation and um, it's a little dry looking. After ko siya, ano, med nung before ko siya, ano, in-apply ng, ng powder, okay naman. Pero ngayon, um, it looks, um, my skin looks a little older. Yun yung masasabi ko. But, um... It's not very big of a deal, pero medyo okay lang naman, tolerable lang naman. Let's see how will this wear um, throughout the day kasi for some, it looks so dry on the initial application, but after nung mga oras na yun, ano, pag nag-melt nag together na yung pawis natin, yung oil natin, tsaka yung foundation, magiging maganda. So hopefully, yun yung mangyayari sa face ko kasi um, by looking at the mirror right now, um, hindi ako masyadong masaya sa, sa ano niya sa result niya. So, friend, it is, ato, ano ba to? So, yung time pala ngayon is 8 in the morning. It's still 8 in the morning. I don't know if you can see. Ayan. Ayan, namatay. So, I will be testing this throughout the day kung ano ba talaga yung mangyayari sa ano, sa foundation na to. Ayan, it's so hot, guys. Grabe talaga yung init dito sa Pinas. So, I'm gonna wear this for like 12 hours or 10 hours at least. Um, Tingnan natin kung kailan ko, until kailan ko siya 
ma-wear. So, I'm pretty much excited to take it off kasi hindi siya masyadong maganda sa feeling sa face. So, let's see. I'm gonna see you at the end of the night. And also, I will be um, taking some photos. You may flash. Tsaka walang flash kasi um, sa mga selfie addicts natin dyan, obviously, um, pag nagpapaganda tayo, then take, take, take picture, ganyan. So, I will see you in a bit, guys. Hello, friends! Finally, it's the end of the night. As you can see, madilim na doon sa labas, guys. Finally, I could get this off from my face. But before, tagalin natin tong, ano, tong foundation nito. Ano na, mag-final check-in muna tayo. Diba? So, uh, today, I did not do any ano, mga vigorous activities naman. And also, I don't have any client today. Nasa bahay lang din ako. So, during the morning, I just did a little, you know, cleaning dito sa bahay. And then, I also folded some laundry. Yun lang. Laundry. Laundry. Ayun. So, mga light lang. Ano, tapos, nagluto. And, uh, during sa luto, ayun, medyo mainit. Kasi, yun nga, mainit ngayon. Obviously, sa Pilipinas. <laughs> sa Pinas tayo, di ba? So, it is really perfect to test out a foundation if, uh, long wearing ba siya or yung longevity niya maglalas ba talaga or how long yung longevity niya longevity niya dito sa atin sa Pilipinas kasi hindi lang tayo very hot <laughs> ano grabe din yung humidity natin so yun lang yung ginawa ko and then also uh, we went to watch a movie ayan mga I think kumalis kami around 3 3 p.m. so from from 3 p.m. until like nakauwi na kami sa bahay mga 8:30 so medyo ano nasa air condition tayo na ano na na place ayan hindi ako pinawisan doon kasi yun nga nandoon tayo sa mall so uh, so half ng day ko is medyo mainit ayan and then half naman hindi masyadong so my day is not that ano vigorous compared to like if kung meron akong client, mas pinapawisan tapos mas nag-oily ako guys kasi busy, ayan naka-run there and there, run here and there pala tayo, so med pag ganyan na sitwasyon, medyo busy mas oil up yung aking skin but today, for today, ano, medyo chill, chill, chill day lang but still, uh, kahit chill, chill, chill day lang ano pa rin, <laughs> pinapawisan pa rin ako. I was planning to do a final check-in sana around mga 8, yung mga 12 hours. But since, yun nga, ano, medyo late na kami naka tapos ano, kumain pa kami dito. So, right now, it's already, ayan, I don't know, ayan, nagpapokus na, 9, almost, ano na, 9.44, ayan. 9.44 in the evening na. So, medyo matagal na yung pagka- pagkasuot natin ng eto ano ba pangalan nito? eto Everbelen na all day liquid foundation so roughly mga 13 hours or more na siya sa aking pagmumukha guys I don't know if you can see but this is how my face looks like right now um dito sa side sa front and the other side I don't know if you could notice na uh, masyadong shiny na yung face natin. Hindi man lang ako nag-blot today. So, uh, yeah, hindi ako nag-blot. And then, as you can see, yung pawis-pawis natin dyan, kitang-kita pa. And, yeah. Ngayon lang ako mag-blot, guys, because I really wanted to see kung kailan or hanggang saan or mag-melt ba ng uh, mas mag- mas gaganda pa yung pag-melting ng ano ng foundation to, with our powies and oil. Uh, hindi ako nag -re reapply ng powder kasi it makes the foundation or even yung ano lang, BB cream or yung mga powder na nilagay natin sa morning it makes it look more cakey pag ni -re apply So what I always do is just use a blotting paper or a blotting sheet to uh, remove the oil. So yun lang. Tapos wala na. Okay na. Ayan. So far, etong blotting sheet na to, pat at uh, pati yung ano sa Gatsby maganda siya na blotting sheet uh, ayan so this is my face so let's check my face guys so dito sa aking nose area yan ang kate ng ilong ko ah, medyo ayan nag, nag rub off na sila lahat pero meron pang natira dito sa ano sa sa itaas and then dito sa chin ayan kitang kita na yung ano ebidensya guys nakalabas na yung aking <laughs> aking malaking pimple pero hindi naman ito active na pimple ewan ko bakit ang tagal-tagal niyang nawala I just don't know so kitang kita na yung red dito and then also sa forehead area uh, nag breakdown na yung ano 
foundation definitely nag-breakdown na siya. Ayan, medyo ayan, nagta-transfer na siya sa aking finger and also here, my pores sa aking cheeks, both cheeks are so visible na talaga as in very, very oh, nakaganyan na sila oh as in nakalabas nakalabas and what is so weird is that my under eye area is so dry <laughs> yun lang yung weird dry na dry tapos ano ang nag crease ano bakit ganun yung nangyari um, if I'm only using concealer hindi naman to nangyayari but dito it looks weird so ayan eto my face is so freaking shiny and um, hindi na siya maganda looking so, let's try one blotting sheet muna. Para makita natin kung gaano karami na oil. Ayan. Nag-transfer definitely sa aking blotting sheet yung ano. Tapos, tingnan nyo. Ang red na ng, <laughs> ng aking elong. Tapos, dito. Ayan. Tatanggal yung ano. Yung foundation while I, blot, while I was blotting. And then, dito sa aking ano din uh, anong tawag nito? eyebrow area masyadong oily na grabe dito oh. <laughs> grabe yung oily super pero kahit anong foundation naman na ano uh, usually nag-oil talaga ako ng ganito parang ano lang din ayan so mag blot pa tayo ng mag blot hanggang mawala lahat so, ayan. I think I'm done. Ayan. Highlighter to. So, hindi to oil. So, ayan. I think I'm done. So, eto yung ano. Well, so far, eto lang yung oil na nakuha ng aking face. Hindi ko na need na ano. Kumuha ng second na ano. Blotting sheet. Kasi wala na. Oh. So far, ayan. Eto lang. Isang ano lang. Blotting sheet lang. So, this is how my face looks like after blotting. Uh, medyo nag, nawala naman yung oil, pero at the same time, nawala na yung foundation ko talaga totally dito. Sa aking cheeks area. Ayan, oh. So, let's do a final, final conclusion on this one, guys. Netong uh, Everbelena All Day Liquid. All Day Liquid Foundation. Ayan, so... Uh, nung in-apply ko siya this morning, I have a kodigo here pala para hindi ko makalimutan. So, uh, for me, definitely best siyang i-apply using a sponge. Kasi uh, when I use the brush, since ano siya, nagda-dry up siya, mabilis siya mag-dry up pala. So, nahihirapan akong i-blend siya using ng brush. So, when I use the sponge, ano, medyo na okay naman siya. So, Highly recommend if you are going to um, be trying this one, definitely use a sponge, guys. Kasi mas better yung ano, application coverage niya compared sa brush. Kasi yun nga, nagda-dry siya agad. So, mabilis siyang mag-dry. And then, after application then uh, I've noticed na uh, mas na-accentuate niya yung mga pores ko dito sa aking cheeks since I am already in my mid-30s. Paulit-ulit, no? Mid-30s. Ayan, medyo visible na talaga yung mga pores ko dito, guys. It's inevitable. Hindi ko na talaga yan, ano, ma-erase or makukorek. Ayan. Um, and also, I'm accepting it kasi, ah, wala, hindi naman sa ako masyadong bother doon. Basta may mga pores, pores, pores tayo dito. So, ini-accentuate niya yung mga pores ko dito. And then, also, um, if a foundation is too heavy because I already also um, experienced this one from other foundations as well, that um, if it is too heavy, it makes my skin look older. Ayan. So, instead na parang yung Korean glass skin ba na pinapaganda yung pinapaganda nila ng foundation yung tone ng skin ko um, it's the opposite parang ano dull looking tapos uh, I get I look a little older much older compared sa walang foundation so yun yung napansin ko while using this one so hindi masyado maganda so eto pala yung mga uh, mix na lang ng pros and cons take note na lang kayo guys ha or if somebody is 
you know, face to face with me, they could really tell that I am wearing a foundation kasi ano, kiki looking talaga siya guys. Um, it is weird when you apply it, ano, medyo dewy siya and sticky and then when I, yung nagpowder na ako, <laughs> ayan, nagdry naman siya looking and masyadong obvious na obvious na talaga na that I am wearing a foundation at so, in that note, I don't really like that kind of look na yung klarong klaro talaga yung ano yung foundation ko na naka nakaplak ba si tao? Eh, ano mong tawag yan? Naka yan, naka poop sa aking face. So that's what I've noticed on this one. Eto pala guys ha yung ano initial feeling ko, initial ano observation ko yung after talaga nung application nito. Eto yung minimension ko ngayon is just after talaga nung inapply ko siya sa aking face this morning. So in terms of feelings naman, um, although medyo heavy looking siya sa face, but for me, it feels like, ano naman, light to the face. Ano, hindi siya heavy feeling sa face. I know, it's so weird, di ba, na um, it looks cakey and heavy, but at the same time, it feels like hindi siya heavy feeling sa aking face. I don't know. I don't know if it's just me or basta, ano naman, comfortable naman siya sa aking pagmumukha. Yan, when I was wearing this one. And then, I did not experience uh, experience any itchy feeling. Um, if I'm going to compare yung sa mga Everbelena, meron din kasing Everbelena sa ano, Daiso sa Japan. And when I use that one, ano, makati siya sa face. And then yung isa din, yung sa Sansan na blue na cap, yung before na before talaga na Sansan, ayan, medyo itchy siya. But this one, hindi siya itchy. So, um, I feel good on wearing this one. And in terms of buildability, ano, uh, I could say na you could build this into light to medium na coverage lang. If lalampas na nun, it looks super, super cakey already. And, ayun, heavy na heavy na. So, you could build this up. But, if you have yung okay lang na skin, maybe you could get away with just, you know, one application, one pump lang ito. Tapos, i-blend nyo using the sponge para, ano, natural lang talaga yung ano outcome niya if you go more than ano yung ibibuild mo siya into a full coverage ano maglo-looking old na talaga yung skin mo nito so now let's talk about yung after 13 or 12 hours of using this one kung ano ba yung nafi-feel ko or na-feel ko after wearing this one after 13 hours so eto yung mga yun guys so first is still it is not heavy feeling to the face um i'm surprised kasi it's a thumb up for me definitely na ano uh, hindi siya heavy feeling even though ano nagsi-sweat na ako tapos nag-oily na yung face ko but still um uh, light feeling pa rin siya sa pagkiramdam. I don't know, diba? It's so weird kasi it looks cakey and heavy but um, honestly, I could honestly say na ano, hindi siya heavy sa face na feeling. And then, yun nga, comfortable lang siya to wear. For me, ha? at least for me. I know this um, review is all over the place but I'm just listing yung orders na nafe-feel ko towards uh, yung experience ko nito guys. So, definitely shine all over the face. Tapos, yun nga, after wearing this for 12 to 13 hours, my pores are so huge and big and very, very visible and basta, right to your face na yung pores ko. But if siguro mag-blot ka tapos mag-retouch ka ng powder, konti lang, med baka, ano, marimedyohan mo yung ganun. But if you are still in your 20s, yung maganda-ganda pa yung skin mo, definitely you could get away with pores. As I've mentioned earlier na nag-breakdown na yung foundation since ano, medyo matagal na din naman yung pagka-wear natin. It's already been 12 to 13 hours. So definitely, uh, mag-breakdown na talaga for this type of foundation kasi hindi naman niya minention na ano, 24 hours or something or sinabi lang niya na all day, all day, ano ba yan? Ibig sabihin ba yan na buong day na hindi okay pa din yung skin natin so um in terms of my under eye um if i'm wearing this if i am not wearing this foundation uh, definitely okay yung under eye ko but i don't know for some reason with this foundation my under eye looks uh, a little drier yeah it's so weird so those are all the observations that i have uh, regarding the Everbelena All Day Liquid Foundation and if you're going to ask me if I am going to recommend this foundation 
well i don't know if you will be surprised but definitely i recommend this foundation uh, meron naman siyang mga cons guys maybe um you could do a little tweaking doon sa part na hindi mo lang siya konti lang yung i-apply mo para hindi siya masyadong you know over the top yung in, hindi siya masyadong heavy and for the price kasi you cannot beat it um if i'm going to compare this sa mga foundations na the same price as this one definitely ito yung mas okay or best compared doon sa mga uh, kaligan niya yon basta yung kalig niya ng mga foundation this is only 195 pesos um it is my first time to try a 195 pesos na nagbu work and hindi makate tapos na meron din naman siyang coverage so once again definitely i recommend this foundation considering the price kasi dapat i-consider din natin yung pricing niya so for its price it's an okay foundation and for those na you know on a budget you could yeah definitely try this one from everbelena guys uh although ano hindi siya masyadong naging okay yun nga kasi iba-iba naman tayo di ba maybe you uh yung concern niyo is just redness and stuff but you could do some tweaking i will be trying um some different techniques on applying this one but since nga ano nagmamadali tayo tapos mainit kanina so definitely you could work around para mag work tong foundation na ito sa inyo so Yay! So that is my two cents on the Everbelena All Day Liquid Foundation, guys. I hope this was helpful to all of you. Ayan, finally natapos na din tayo and tayo. <laughs> so, ayan. So, thank you always for watching and hopefully you enjoyed watching the video. So, once again, always remember that makeup is not a mask worn to hide oneself, but rather it makes you a better you. So I hope to see you on my next video. Thank you so much, friends. Bye!